decaling on the nacelles is proceeding. Um, I've had to cut off excess that was going along here. Um, it's, it doesn't really want to conform too well, but I'm going to be snapping something on top of here, so I'll probably just trim this off as carefully as I can. Seeing as how the decals are kind of thick, um, what I've had to do is just kind of uh, slice into it a little bit along the contours. And then I am uh, reapplying the Tamiya uh, Mark Fit Strong. So I got the, uh, the Boussard Collector here on, uh, on this one inserted, and I'll show you how I did that. It didn't quite slide in as, and snap as, as beautifully as it did before it was painted. Especially since I had to uh, redo this, I had to re-hand uh, paint a lot of this here, that the black part especially. Um, it's as long as this little lip gets in here, there, now it's, it's in there, it's in place, there. So that looks pretty nice, I mean, it was a lot easier to do that separately, um, instead of following the instructions and, and having that in there to begin with. So there you go. Um, I'll just continue with the, the decaling, and uh, it just, uh, it takes a long time. It's, you know, I guess I'm enjoying it, I guess. It's just, I don't know, it's just not as fun as uh, working with the plastic and such. So, yay. I suppose while I'm at it, I may as well... Complete the work on the nacelle here. Snap these pieces into place. See how it goes. There. Now let's see how well this uh, snaps into place here. Let me cut off some of the excess from where I just cut. Um. So yeah, this uh, this really makes it easy to assemble, you know, to have these painted separately and snap them into place. So I do appreciate that. Okay, let's look here. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter's complaining about something. Um, hmm. Where's the piece of oh, here it is. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how well this will snap in. Hmm. Okay. There. Okay, so that's how it's done. Cool. That looks nice. That looks nice. Now, moving on to the other nacelle. Sorry, I'm not getting this in the frame, am I? My hands are in, in the way. There we go. Okay. For the last time, Admiral. Just get in the damn hole. Is it? Yeah, I got the right one. What the hell, dude? Come on. Oh no, I just dropped it. Yeah. It's another Star Wars commercial on TV right now. I'm still not excited about the new movie. Uh, I hope it pleasantly surprises me, but 
is this, do I have the wrong? No, this is the right, why doesn't it go in? It's being stupid. Virch Jafurk. Alright, let's see if this piece goes in. Hmm. Alright, I have to get back to you on this. This is weird. Okay, uh, so I got it to work. Now, um, uh, the, uh, the problem was that I didn't have uh, the little tabs. I, I didn't clean it off the tabs enough, so it wasn't wanting to snap in very well. Uh, I'm tempted to put this in, but at the same time, I might wait until last to do this, because I want to be able to grip something. So... Hmm, or I could maybe cram something in there and paint it that way, but I think it might work better if I just leave these off for now. Maybe put those in last. Um, in the meantime, I can go ahead and uh, apply some of these, uh, these decals. So... I believe this goes like that and like, yeah, okay. Alright, so... It's gonna take a while to really work on these decals because they're kind of popping up. They're not wanting to really adhere, even with the uh, Tamiya Mark Strong. They are being a bit difficult. Okay. Let's... See if we can peel this off here. And gosh, so much excess. I, I hadn't realized there's gonna be so much excess on here. This is excessively excessive. <laughs> I think I should line it up with this here. And then line this up here, maybe. And then I'll have to just uh, remove excess, apparently. It's like right off the bat. Where's my scissors? It might be easiest if I do it like this here. Or just cut that off completely. They could have maybe uh, designed these decals to fit a little bit better, but I'm not complaining too much. This is pretty fun. It's the Enterprise, darn it. And it's 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 a far cry above the old AMT kit, that's for sure. Oh, look at this. This is coming up. Just by handling it. This is what I was afraid of. Just get down there, please. Stay down. Okay. Now... Oh, I know what I can do. Align it like that, maybe. Where's that toothpick? Okay. Let me get some more of the decal setter. Okay. There. Whew. Oops. Now what's this? Oh, this is just the crap that I'd cut off. Oh my golly. There. I, I guess this is how it's supposed to go on. Jeez. Uh, 
I think I got it right. The problem is that there's just so much excess. Look at this. Am I doing this right? <sighs> this is not going on as, as well as the bottom one, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, you really got your work cut out for you with this one. Uh, with all the decals. Just so many. Uh, I got it on there, so I guess it's, it's working now. Mm. It just makes me uncomfortable every step of the way. See, now this is uh, kind of repositioning it's itself now. Jeez. Stay, please. There. No, nope, it moved again. Dang it. All right, I'm gonna have to work with this. <laughs> Stay tuned. Gosh. Okay. So I'm gonna take a little bit of break from uh, decaling, and I just noticed something that I had missed. I have some uh, painting to do. Now I'm using some Model Master Acrylic Light Ghost Gray, because that's what the, the uh, instructions call for. Okay. And this is brand new, I guess. There. Exploitation? Are you in here? Okay. So. Uh, okay. So these little doohickeys here have to be painted light ghost gray. And that's our show for tonight, folks. And there are three of them. As long as it doesn't run them everywhere, it should be pretty easy to do. Chase, you pay a hundred K salary plus pennies, and this is the kind of performance you get. Hmm. Hey, this is the least. Well, to be fair, it's it is pretty glossy, so it's not really uh, the best surface for. Painting much, but I'll, I can just do this in different light coats, I suppose. Okay, and I also I need to paint the ring here. This this needs to go around the saucer area here. I'm gonna paint this light ghost gray. So, get back to you on that. Okay, so there's one more thing I took care of. And it was this little black area on the back of the neck. And I just did that with some uh, flat black enamel paint. So, with the light ghost gray in the front, and the back part here being black, I'm done with uh, painting, I imagine. Um, I don't know about these thingies. Uh, um, these are those uh, little uh, little travel pods. I don't know if these need to be painted or not. I don't. I don't think so. I think there's just decals that go around them. So, so this this here and this here, and on, of course on the other side as well. Um, I don't know. Instructions don't say to call. Uh, they don't call to to paint those at all. But. Um, one thing I just realized I can do is I can reattach this here. There. Now the shuttle bay is ready to go. 